Hi, I'm Anna Miller. I'm the associate pastor here at First United Methodist Church in Albany, and I am so glad you have joined me for just a short Tuesday faith tune-up. You know, just like cars, we need a little tune-up along the way to keep our faith strong. And today, I want to share with you about what faith, how faith plays a role in us finding peace. Now, I come from a family of four children, and when I was little, my mother said for her birthday one year that all she wanted was a little peace and quiet. Now, as you can imagine, I'm sure uh, that was a rare occurrence in our house. It just so happened that year that my grandfather sent her a special videotape that year, VHS, and it was a long time ago. Now, watching, we were excited to be able to sit down and watch a movie on a Friday night. That was really, back then, a special event to watch a movie at home on the TV. So we got all settled in to watch, and we plugged it in, and nothing happened. And we tried all we knew to do to get it to work, and we couldn't get it to work. So my mom ended up calling my granddad, and she's like, man, what was on this videotape? We cannot get it to work. And he said nothing. And she said, well, what do you mean nothing? And he said, well, there's nothing on it. You said you wanted some peace and quiet, so that's what you got. And we got a big laugh out of that. You know, we all want a little peace and quiet in our life. But when we think of peace, we what are some other things that come to mind? We might think about quiet, but what about calmness? We might think about tranquility harmony? What about reconciliation? I think we may be getting more to the true meaning of what true peace means when we look at this word reconciliation. Now, Paul shares with us about what true peace is, that which comes when we place our faith in Jesus in the second chapter of Ephesians that I want to share with you today. Paul writes in in Ephesians 2, 11 through 22. Listen to what Paul says here. He says, So then, remember that at one time you were Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands. Remember that you were once at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenant of God's promise having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace. In his flesh, he made both groups into one and he has broken down the dividing wall, that is the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and and ordinances that he might create in himself a new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, that putting to death that hostility through it. You see, Paul says here that we were once far off, but we have been brought near to God. That is possible by the shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross for us. Now, in the Old Testament, there was a distinction between the Jews, who were God's chosen people, and the Gentiles, who Paul is referring here to. And he calls them, they may have felt that they were aliens from Israel, that they were strangers to God's promise, that they had no hope without God in the world. And Jesus, but he says, with Jesus Christ, you who were once far off have now been brought near by the blood of Jesus Christ. You see, with Jesus' coming, we now have access to God through our faith in Jesus. All that was once separated us from God has now been abolished through Jesus' sacrifice. And so it's through our faith in Jesus that we find true peace or harmony or reconciliation that Paul's talking about here with God. Faith in Jesus gives us peace with God. Now, I want us to look today at one point that Paul references to. He says the Gentiles were once a people who felt far separated from God. But maybe we today feel like we are far and separated from God. We may feel that we are alien, that we have no hope, that we are far off. We may think, who am I that God would want to make peace with me? 
to be in harmony with me. But my friend, God wants nothing more than to be at peace with you, for you to be in harmony with him. And that peace is possible when we place our faith in Jesus Christ, because he is the one who put to death the hostility that is between humanity and God. Jesus is the bridge that makes it possible for us to come to God. And peace is the sole reason for which Jesus came. And I love verse 14. He says here in verse 14, he says, for Jesus is our peace. Jesus is peace. So if we want peace in life, then we need to place our faith in him. I want to share with you uh, the rest of these verses, 17 through 22. Look and listen at how beautiful these verses are when we now know that it is possible to have faith in Jesus Christ and to be at peace with God. He says, So Jesus came and proclaimed peace to you who were once far off and peace to those who were near, for through Jesus both had now have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you who are no longer strangers nor aliens, but you are now citizens with the saints and also members of God's household, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. It is with Christ Jesus himself. Jesus is the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. You see, I believe regardless, whatever temporal situation or unsettling circumstance we may be in where we don't have peace, that temporal situation, we can still have peace with God in our heart because of what Jesus came and did for us. We have peace with God through our faith in Jesus. Jesus loves you more than what you can ever imagine. And I hope that you're encouraged today. I hope this week you'll look at your faith and have peace with God. We're here for you. We love you. We're praying for you. And I hope to see you again next week on our Tuesday Faith Tune-Up. Have a good week.